So I think it's about time to start talking about a project that has been over a year in the making. So hello and welcome back and if you're new to my channel my name is Jennifer and I make stuff. <laughs> this is no difference, this is all about combination of arts and crafts that I have learned over the years and I'm going to show you the process of how I made this project and how I'm making this project because it's far from finished. There are a lot of details left. So before we get started it would be so great if you could like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you get notified every time I'm uploading new stuff. You might already see some of the imperfections and some of the details that aren't attached yet and I'm well aware about that and those are details that I'm definitely going to show you how I'm going to create those. So this is just going to be a short introduction video to this actual project. I'm not going to show you the process of how I made all these parts so far in this video. I'm going to show you that in sort of like a playlist with different parts of this entire costume, outfit, cosplay from all the soft parts and then build up to the armor pieces and the leather work and other stuff that are to complete this outfit. This is obviously if you can see from this um, outfit this is the Mandalorian obviously and this is my take on it if you are a female and you want to dress up as the Mandalorian. So I had made a few adjustments so it would fit at least my body <laughs> but the obvious difference of this outfit compared to the original Mandalorian is obviously the chest plate because in the original it's just a flat metal chest plate but if you are female the chest plate Part needs to have more dimension to it like if you just would have something that is just flat it would just stand further out from your body especially if you're large chested or medium chested so I had to figure out a construction of this chest plate that would make it have the similar style and shape as the original but still have these 3d geometric shapes that would fit around a chested area on a female. So I had to do some adjustments like you can see the only part on this armor is actually this part right here. If you see it in the original it actually just goes straight down like that but on the armor that I made it goes out, down and in and then it's just a bit rounded here in the corners just to give that 3D dimensional shape but still has that angled look so it looks you know futuristic with geometric shapes so it fits the universe that this armor is supposed to be in. That's the difference here but the majority of the rest of all of the parts that are on this armor is just the exact same as the original armor, meaning the style and the aesthetics and the looks of the finished result because those parts aren't going to vary depending on if you're female or male, it's just going to be the exact same style on those parts. And definitely they are not perfect, they are still having some issues with the finish on these. Further away they might look good, it might look perfect or great, it doesn't look that distracting, but close up you are going to see all those imperfections because I'm not having a perfect finish on these. I've struggled a lot with figuring out what kind of finish I'm going to create to get this illusion that it's made out of metal because I want to have a similar effect to the chrome that is in the actual show because you know that the armor isn't actually mirror shiny chrome finish. It's actually supposed to be a little bit dull. It's supposed to be chrome but not mirror chrome that you can actually see your own reflection in it. I had to figure out a bit how I'm gonna do that and I did actually find a solution but sadly when I got that chrome finish it turns out that it actually also enhanced if there were imperfections in the surface of these armor pieces because I had used like some kind of lacquer or something and they left 
with all these brush strokes and maybe some driplets from when the lacquer had dried and it wasn't that kind of lacquer that you could just sand down to a smooth finish and then go over with a thin layer again with lacquer to seal it so that's one thing that I'm going to show you in a separate video when all of these pieces are done I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to get a smooth even surface that is going to look like this kind of silver metal Beskar style that is in the show definitely also in the helmets there are a lot of details that looks like a mess close up that's all I'm going to say. I also need a visor for this helmet and I still have a lot of details left like for example I only have the gloves here but I definitely need to make some gauntlets for the armor pieces and I have some of the leg armors left to do and every part of these armor pieces they need definitely a much better finish. I think it's going to be one of the final steps. When I was working on this one, I didn't have my new computer that I have now, so I wasn't able to start editing any videos or um, start uploading stuff to YouTube. And by the point where I was actually working on this armor, I didn't record the process because I wasn't thinking that I was going to actually show this process or upload it to YouTube or anything. But I did actually document a lot of pictures of the process. So each video from the point that I'm at now, each part of those videos are going to show you slideshows of pictures, but I'm going to show you close-ups of the parts that I have made so far and show you pictures of the process and explain how I worked on these details. I'm also going to plan on making some templates and patterns of all of these parts if you would be interested to actually purchase these details and I'm going to make sure that I can figure out what size these parts fits if you're medium, small, large, you know, especially if you're a female because the, the chest plate is especially for female but there are a ton of templates on how to do the original male chest plate. So if you just search on Google, you're going to find some perfect templates. These parts that I have made, they are all completely made from EVA foam. These parts and these armors and all of these, all are made out of different thickness of EVA foam. And I have uh, cut them out and shaped them and to get the look of the armor that I'm going for. The result that I got was a finish that looks like it doesn't even have any seams. It actually looks like it's metal that is welded and then sand it down or shaped or filed down to a smooth surface and give the uh, illusion of metal. Well, it's going to give the illusion of metal when I'm giving it a new finish, obviously. <laughs> I'm definitely going to show you also all of the uh, soft parts and the accessories for this one. And obviously these pieces aren't attached or anything to the soft parts of this armor. They are just right now clamped with some clamps here. And I have a little bit of cotton here because I didn't have cotton here before. And these clamps actually left some marks in the armor pieces. But thankfully with EVA foam you can even out the surface by going over with a heat gun. And then it, the surface would even itself out. So, But just to to avoid getting some more hideous marks on these armor pieces to take away the illusion that it's made of metal instead of EVA foam, I try to protect the surface with a little bit of cotton between each clamp. So, like I said, I'm not going to go into detail about how I made these parts in this video. This video is just showing you the results so far and just what I'm planning to do. And I'm going to show you all of these parts in the process of how I made all of these pieces because I did actually start with the soft parts and then I could build up on top of those because once I had the soft parts done it was easier for me to see when I start to attach the templates of the armor to see that it actually looks right to what it looks like in the actual show. So I don't know how many parts I'm going to make of this project but there are many parts left that I need to finish on this entire armor costume and the parts that I actually have left to do, those parts I'm going to record because now I know that I can actually edit some videos and upload them to YouTube. Since I have some armor pieces that are, need to be created left, like the gauntlets and 
some of the leg armor. Those parts are going to be made in the same process as the other armor pieces that are made of EVA foam. So I'm going to be able to show you the process of how I made a, a metal armor looking finish using EVA foam. Repeat the process on the making of all the other parts that I have already made. Uh, and definitely if you would like to purchase some of these patterns, I will definitely make sure that I make some PDF files of these armor pieces and make sure that you can make your own <laughs> armor out of EVA foam. And I'm going to include all of those details about which thickness of EVA foam I used and if I used other materials for that finish. So that's the introduction of this project that has been around a year in the making and I'm still not done. So it's going to be a over a year long project all of this until it's finished. But it's been a uh, very entertaining fun journey so far with the result I got right now and I was so happy the more details I added the closer it started to look like the armor from the show and I was so excited because I felt like I had made all of these details from scratch and had to either look at pictures from the show or had to look at information on uh, the size and measurements and all of that and other stuff I had to figure it out myself to see what would look great and then I had to go from the measurements I had myself but other than that it was has been a fun journey so far and still not done so, oh yeah right before you're going to ask any questions or leave a comment about this this was the uh, smallest <laughs> mannequin they had so yeah this uh, armor looks like it's going to be too large for me but this armor is made after my measurements and if you look at the actual pants of the flight suit look like capri pants on this mannequin because they're too short on her but on me they fit perfectly she's like 5'11 i'm 5'3 <laughs> so <laughs> going to look like this is a, a armor for a very tall female but no i have made each part here after my measurements just want to <laughs> clarify that if anyone had any questions about it so i hope you're going to be excited and looking forward to see the process of how i made this outfit from start to finish and maybe get some ideas to make your own mandalorian costume for Maybe Halloween or some kind of a convention or whatever you could want to dress up as Mando or Din Djarin from Mandalorian. And also how to make a female version of this outfit. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Just going to be the first step on how to create this outfit.